Hi folks, today we're gonna build this rock giant in Houdini 19.5 and we're gonna simulate that with Bullet Solver. Today's video is inspired by God of Thunder, Thor. Hi again, this is Dyson, happy to be here. Okay, this one inspired by this scene of my favorite movie, Thor, Love and Thunder. We're gonna simulate this perishing effect for Sony Man. Okay, as always, let's go. Okay, today we're gonna use this character. I am download this from Miximo and I cycle that via read time node. As you can see, it's not so perfect. Let's create agent node and load our FX file. And that's the animation. Okay, let's go convert that in a place animation and select our hip. Okay, that's so good and let's create transform and use this expression to have an animation in the axis okay let's play okay it's not bad it's sliding so we have another solution for that let's copy this node here and instead of transform let's check this simulate locomotion that's so natural let's see the difference between these methods as you can see, the locomotion is perfect. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna use locomotion and let's delete that. As you can see, this agent node is packed our geometry. Let's unpack that. Agent unpack. Nice. Now we need to retrieve our polygons. Let's disable this option here. Okay, we have our polygon here. Okay, now let's create VDB from polygon here. VDB from polygon, okay. Nice, let's increase this resolution, voxel size, and let's create VDB from, sorry, VDB sphere here to have sphere, uh, for this geometry and let's create copy to point okay we have this point as you can see now let's create cube maybe or box nice and we're gonna create bevel okay to have a rounded edge here nice maybe this and now let's create remesh node here to remesh that to have decent topology and that's okay now let's create mountain to have decent displacement okay that's our rock for example and as you can see we have scale issue let's go to vdb sphere and enable scale attribute here okay now let's disable overlapping we don't need overlapping here and let's change this okay we need to scale this up a little bit now let's go to transform sorry to box and scale this up nice now let's have a randomize or randomization let's create attribute randomize here we're gonna have we're gonna create randomized orientation let's type orient here nice and change that to direction and dimension 4 and cone angle and that's cool for now Okay, before we move on, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more content and hit the like button. Okay, and if you want to support our community, please check my NFT page here. I have awesome offer and I will happy to grow together. Okay, back to the video. As you can see, we have this rock giant and that will change every frame. This point will change every frame. We're going to stabilize that. Okay. 
let me move this here and let's create time shift to have stabilize or holding this frame here frame one okay we have this one nice let's create point deform here nice let's connect this to here and that to here and let's create another or copy this time shift here and let's connect the middle input to it and we have this one and that's awesome great and let's see what we have here okay as you can see okay we have this stabilized animation that's nice let's reduce this remesh node here and that's awesome okay as you can see we have this attribute id and p let's create rbd configure we need the name attribute this node will create this name attribute for us we need this attribute to tell the bullet solver to introduce actually our rocks to bullet solver as you can see we have this piece's name here nice and let's create bullet solver here okay that's cool and let me decrease this for the sake of simplicity and let's see here let's go to collision enable ground plane and let's play and that's work awesome okay so this worked because we have this name attribute here okay now let me show you something cool let's go to rbd configure and active act, let's set active to zero and default to one as you can see we retrieve our animation zero active will convert our rbd object to static and the phone will respect our animation and we're gonna access that via attribute here okay we have this attribute and let's create our attribute for us uh, sorry for this bullet solver and we're gonna go here and let's create this group here let's enable bounding box and change that to point and let's have a name for that okay and let me adjust that here to have a decent animation or decent growth you can use any growth you want and let's change that to primitive to have this selection here nice and the point is not represent this so cool so primitive is better here okay let's create this simple expression okay I'm gonna use dollar t for the time here and that will grow our group here awesome as you can see that's cool now let's create attribute create node here and we're gonna rename that to active and set the default value to one and that's cool let's let's select our group here okay nice pay attention the type is float for now okay nice let's go to copy this attribute create here to create another attribute let's rename that to deforming okay be careful with the spelling and that's one two and let's have a opposite sign or inverse sign that will be the invert of the active okay we have deforming and active attribute let me visualize that as you can see let me change the seed here okay uh, the green one will be one and here deforming is opposite the active here okay nice let's go to here and we have deforming and active let's transfer that here that's so important and that's cool and let's go to bullet solver and let's play and see what we have here okay that's so odd let's 
me check what the problem here okay and the problem is we have a float value here rather than the integer the bullet solver is so sensitive to it okay let me show you the spreadsheet here as you can see this attribute is float okay that's not gonna work with bullet solver let's go here and change that to integer okay that's two and let me show you here we have integer value as you can see okay now let's try again and that's miracle <laughs> okay that's cool and let me change that to have more speed here okay let's play as you may notice we don't have any break for these rocks here and in this video we have extra section to do that if you're interested please stay tuned for that and that's the result honestly that's so cool and for this cloth you see here you can use this tutorial i explained that how we can combine vellum and bullet solver here and for this smoke here and as you can see you can use this video here i explained that and see you in the next video Welcome to extra section my friend let's create pieces for these rocks here okay for that let me create rbd material fracture here nice and let's connect that to copy to point and let me show you this segment here okay that's cool and let's create explode view here to show you the break as you can see we have this break but not all our rocks have a break so for that let's enable fracture per pieces here this option take the name attribute as the pieces okay as you can see we don't have a name pieces this attribute created automatically by rbd fracture material let's create our own name attribute using connectivity nice okay now let's change that to primitive change that to name and instead of integer we're gonna select string here okay as you can see we have our name attribute okay because we copy this point we need to change this attribute to, to attribute and instead of density let's change that to position and as you can see all the pieces have a break now okay let's manage our constraint here as you can see we have these breaks here okay let me decrease that for this demonstration nice okay let's suppose we have these rocks here and let me see that okay that's good speed here okay now let's connect rbd fracture to this stream here and that middle one will be the constraint output let me show you what that look like and as you can see we have this constraint and let me connect this to bullet solver too nice and let's play okay that's boring for now let me change the start frame here to have a quick result to show you quickly here change that 200 and that's 200 and let's play okay as you see the pieces is not breaking let's disconnect this constraint and the pieces now breaking okay the constraint is holding the pieces together we're gonna delete that by condition 
For that, let's go to Bullet Solve here and let's go to Constraint tab, change that to Glow and disable that. And we're gonna enable by the impact threshold. Okay, the threshold is the key here. One is too strong. Let me show you the threshold here. Let's go to Visualize Constraint and enable threshold. Let's give him a 10 for now to have threshold here. Let me change that to dark to see the number more clearly. Okay, that's the current threshold here. And we're gonna select uh, the number between this, around this number here. Okay, let's disable the ground and let's play. And as you can see, when they hit the ground or when they have a impact based our threshold they will break the constraint here okay that's nice and that without threshold as you can see we don't have any breakness here okay i hope you enjoyed this one goodbye